Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive subscribers and supporters, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, today is going to be the walkthrough of the first three months in my happy planner. We're going to look at the first one quarter of this year. And I'm going to explain to you some things like, you know, where I was testing stuff, things of that nature. So this is not the prettiest uh, planner that you're going to see, but it is what it is. Okay, first I had this. Well, I didn't have it. I purchased this from off Etsy, this uh, cover, and I love it to death. So we're going to, oh, and this right here, this is actually a graphic off of mug that I have and I just saw it and I liked it so I just went and copied it and made it bigger and laminated it and put it in here so let's go to let's go ahead on and get to Jane because I don't do those <clears throat> I don't do those like currently things so all right this is January and here I was experimenting with some stamps and as you see this is a bigger one. This stamp is from Bobunny. And you know, I, I wasn't particular about it. So, yeah. But this is the first uh, month, January 2019. I got to get 2019 over here somehow. I don't know. And that's the monthly view. And here are the weekly views. All right. So, this was the only thing I actually did for the first week of January. I. You know, I was just playing with washi and seeing how these things would work out. That type of deal. Seeing that this is bigger than the two boxes to see how I was going to um, work that in. See, this one I didn't even put any dates on. <clears throat> I just did it. And it was okay. I still had the check boxes here that I didn't go back and check what I had done. But it's here. I did not remove use that the correction tape to remove these lines from under here so I can see those lines under that tape and right here I just used one of the sticky notes and I actually glued the whole thing down which I actually like and see this one is the one that didn't get glued down so it's just in there the second week I just wrote it in because I was lazy and really I was just looking at how does this these different washies look and even right here I punched this out or I cut it out to see how it was how it would look here and see what these tape this washi tape you know how this see-through washi tape would look either on top or on the bottom of this and of course again I did not remove the lines from down there and this right here is actually a this is another one yeah that I didn't do much to actually all of this tape that you see I just did that maybe a couple of days ago just to see what this tape looks like I just made some notes here and I still used this time I used the punch to see how it fit in these boxes and that's really about it with this one. I said, did I miss one? I'm trying to see, did I miss one? Because one of them I just used. Yeah, these are still, I think these are still copies, though. Yeah, these are copies. These weren't the original pages. These were copies. And I actually had them in another book because I was going to keep, like, these as a markup. And then do them again in this book. But I just pulled these out and stuck them in. <clears throat> okay. And then next month is February. And I actually. What they call this. De-stickered a bunch of this on this page. Because it was really overcrowded. And I said. Well let me take some of these stickers off. Maybe that would help this page look better. And it does. It looks a lot better with less stickers. And this was my Ken Ken right here. He was born on the 7th. And, yeah, we're not going to go there. But anyway, this is how the month, monthly, February month view looks. Okay, this is the first week. And, actually, I really and truly didn't do 
much to this week. I um, didn't do anything in particular. I just made a note of something right here, I think. And like these pictures were brought in later. These All of these stickers, I put them on later. I found some stickers from Dollar Tree. And I said, well, you know what? Let me just put them in, in, in everywhere. So that's what I did. That's how this got so many stickers. And this page as well. I, had, I really had not done anything for this week as well. Um, so all these stickers that you see were put on last. Even like these things right here where it got me and my son. I went back and printed those and just stuck them on there for this particular week right here. Now right here I was testing stamping the numbers and these numbers are too big for these boxes and it was too big for up there so I only did the numbers that week for this particular week and if you see right here where it's darker that's because I had not used the correction tape to remove it but in these other spots I went back and did that <clears throat> and that's why that is still there because I probably started tearing this so I just said I just leave it alone but this too was done after the fact it was not done during or before. And as you can see down here, <clears throat> there are those pink lines that should have been you what I should have used the correction on, and I didn't. And this one too, all the stickers that you see, just some stickers that, from, that were from Dollar Tree, and I had had them for a couple of years, so I just went on and used them. Even this guy right here. If I had found them before, I probably would have used them on the spread. But I really have had them two, possibly three years, and I just wanted to get rid of them. Okay, let's see. What's next? Oh, and so let's go to the next month, March. Okay, this is my March spread, and it is very simple, nothing serious. I put this over there, and... Decided that I didn't like it, so but I'm not going to remove it. I'll just leave it there because it's April now anyway. Unless I feel like if I get some of the sticker paper, the label paper, the white, and maybe go back and cut it and put it on there just to see how it'll look for another spread. But this is one of those sheet protectors from Mambi, and I just put the recipe in there and left it. I ran out of tape here as well, out of the washi, the green washi. Didn't bother about putting any more on, so I'm good with this. And this is the first week, which says Lazy Weekend, which was the truth. Wash hair, uh, start filming crafty videos. That's the only thing that's there. And I put Miss Girl over there. And I put uh, Be That Girl right there so that when I cut her out to make a card, that's the title that I want on the card. Be that girl. Okay, the second week. Um, so it's pretty okay. It wasn't a lot going on like any other time. My life is just not that hectic or important or busy or anything like that. I don't have that much to do. And so I went. I did have a job assignment that week. Yeah. Had a couple of doctor's appointments, you know, that type of stuff. Post to um, Tasha's Crab Corner. Post to Tasha's Beauty Cafe, which I don't think I did. So, this was just a picture I had taken of my food, and this was an empty box. So, I printed the picture, put it there, even though it says dinner at Q's here. This came from Q's, but it wasn't on this day. So, I just put it there to, you know, put something in that box. This next week is for Kiara, my baby. She's um, a Fort Valley student, freshman, so she should be a sophomore, junior, probably at the end of this year. No, no probably. She's a, a, she'll be a junior at the end of the school year. And I was testing out these uh, planner stickers from Victoria Thatcher, and they're all food themed. So I just put them in. Uh, these, this is a picture on her first day, a picture on the second day, a picture on the third day. Because I asked her to send me a picture a day. 
And actually, these two pictures came on the same day because she came back that Friday. So, I just stuck them in. This is that recipe that I confused everybody on, but it's there. And I did take her back to school that Saturday. It was late. I wasn't happy, but I took her back. <clears throat> this is the next week. The following week, which was a coffee themed. I found these stickers online somewhere. I just copied the image and printed them out and made them a little bit bigger so they would fit in this in this big happy planner um i purchased that image and i love her to death this right here was a or is a coffee cup that i had some left over that i was making paper clips out of so i just stuck that there after the fact because there's another coffee cup i think under there or oh, something else under there, and I put that there instead because I liked it better. And again, two places that I was testing uh, different washies, like putting the washi right here, and I actually cut that out with my exacto knife. So, you know, just like go back and fill in. That's what I was doing with this one as well. And I think this is the last page for the first quarter of the year, the last week. Uh, yeah, and uh, is it? Let me make sure. Yeah, it's the last one. Yeah, so this is the last week for the first quarter of the year, and it's a spring theme. And I love these flowers from I think it's florals. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, one of the happy planner books, and it's pretty cool actually. Um, this I had been got her. From I had been got, oh my god, I purchased this young lady a while ago from Oso Paper, and actually, I got like quite a few of her, so I need to go and download them and print them and um, start using those those young ladies because she's got like washing hair and paying the bills and all this type of stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me again, but I'm going to. I don't think I, you know what I have to come back and look at this page because I haven't done the candy dish yet, and there are some throwback Thursday items that I put under this little flap right here that's held together with that. So I got to I didn't want to I didn't want y'all to see them and then go and look for them. So that's why I did that. So, but that's it really, and I just wanted to show you guys my first quarter of the year walk through there we go and I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video if you haven't I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your comments I truly appreciate it come back anytime and I see you all in my next video bye bye love bugs